Hey, what's up? This is Donovan Green. Today, we're going to talk about agility. We're going to talk about mobility and some, some things that I do to strengthen up my knees. I've suffered with knee problems for many, many years. I still do at certain times. However, because I always implement singular movements, balancing drills, forward bends, going backwards, I always implement different things that helps my knees to get stronger. Uh, also working the quadriceps, the hamstrings, getting the calf muscles, every, all of those surrounding muscles, as you get stronger in those muscles, including the glutes, the kneecap gets stronger, believe it or not. All of this will begin to stabilize much more. So today I'm going to show you some things, uh, a few sports conditioning drills. Right in front of me I have a, an agility ladder. You don't have to have an agility ladder. This is just me using the visual. You can mimic the same exact thing. The first exercise we're gonna work on is going into your frontal plane. We're gonna go lateral. So I'm gonna go without the ladder first, and I'm just gonna go one, two, three, and four, and then back across to the other side. Every time I go towards the right side, the left leg is the pusher. When it goes towards the left side, the right leg is the pusher. So let me demonstrate it with the ladder. With the ladder, I'm doing that same exact drill. I'm going all the way out in a tap, leaving one foot in, and I'm going back and forth. Now, if you look at my foot in, I'm keeping my feet straight ahead. Also, it's good to practice looking up. That way you kind of see how your spatial awareness is so you don't touch and tap the white part of the ladder. When you get better, then you start to go a little faster. Practice that, that's working a lot on the external portion of the body, on the lower body. The next drill is me simply going in and out, going forward and back, forward and back. So I start behind the ladder and I step in this way, right foot lead in and right foot out. So I'm always going to the next box, next box, Next box, next box, next box. Then I do the same thing, go into the other side. I know I'm going to go left, so I'm going to put the left leg in, right leg follows, left leg moves the whole time. So when I'm going left, left leg leads. When I'm going right, the right leg leads. Now as I'm doing this, I'm relaxing my shoulders. My knees are soft. The arms are moving, my arms are not stiff. And once again, I'm keeping the foot, the feet, and the hips and the shoulders straight ahead. As you get better, then it's going to look something like this. And I'm not going full speed. I'm just going to go fast enough so you can see the difference when you start to get stronger in those knees, okay? Another drill I like to do to get my knees stronger, this is only for those of you who are able to do plyometrics. And plyometrics is when you are jumping. So when I go here and a land that's plyometrics. Now the landing portion is where we normally tend to feel the pain through the absorption, especially when you land on heavier surface. So I do a single hop only for you if you can. If you cannot hop, then this is one of the exercises that you completely avoid. So I'll start from this point as I, I'll, I'll go without the, the ladder. So you can see I'm doing it without the ladder and I'm gonna go one, and I'm gonna land, stick that move working on that balance, and I go again, and again, and then I'll turn around, do the other leg, and pump the leg. Notice how this leg, the one that's elevated off the ground, is my swinging leg. That's the leg that I use to carry me through that spatial awareness, right? If I just jump without moving that leg, it, it, it's, it puts more pressure to that knee. So that leg flying out is my pumper. So it gives me the ability to move across this plane much more easier and much more successful. And every time I'm landing, I'm landing right into the center line of the square. Okay, so we started off with this lateral. Working side to side. Then we went forward, in and out. Then we did the jump. Now we're gonna do the jump again, going lateral. This is where it can be much more trickier, much more dangerous. 
Let me demonstrate it. And even though I'm not doing a full workout, my heart rate is up because my body is moving. So here we go. I'm going to use this leg and I'm going to jump and land. Then again, I'm going to use this leg, pump it up, jump and land. Every time I land, I want to stick that balance. Move the arms forward, okay? And I'm going to jump to the very end. Same thing on the other side. Jump in, land in, stabilize, up, boom, stabilize again, stabilize and again, stabilize and again, right? When you're jumping that way, because you're going towards the side of that leg, when a person loses balance, they tend to go like this and the ankle inverts where you get that sprain. And that's why so many people get inverted sprains because they're not working enough of the laterals and they're not working enough on stabilizing the ankles, okay? So now let's do the same thing with the opposite leg where the knees are gonna wanna do this. They're gonna wanna adduct. So your job is to keep those knees forward. Now remember, adduction is bringing things back to center. Abduction is removing the weight from the center. Make sense? Okay, so now, as you progressively get better and better, remember, everything I'm showing you is not for you to do, is not for you to do the whole thing. Look and see what you can do. Start with the progression. Start with the easy stuff. And then later on, then you'll get better and better and better. Now, knees are soft. We're going to opposite side now, using the other leg. So I'm doing the same thing. I have to readjust my positioning. I have to lean more towards that side. I have to put the weight that way so my knees don't buckle in as much. I'll go one, and then I'll go two. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to do it to even up. Now look, I'm standing. I'm going a little faster, and I'm pushing off. So you're also working a lot of the inner thigh. Every time you push off, you're activating the inner thigh. Does that make sense? Now these are things that you would never think is good for your knees, people, because we assume that, oh, you know, that's, that, that's bad for the knees. It's not. These are the things that if we don't strengthen those knees and the muscles around the knees, then everything gets weakened. Plyometrics, being able to jump a bit and create some impact to the joints so they can strengthen up is imperative. Do the research, look it up. A lot of people will agree. And some people will disagree for those who don't really understand the idea of being able to jump. The concept only applies to those who can jump. Maybe you might have a knee problem that doesn't allow you to do that. Okay, maybe you're not able to step up the stairs. Other videos, I'm going to show you step up drills also that you should do. So my last piece, my last piece here is you're not going to need anything here. So this is done. Thank you, ladders. I love you. You're going to work on your stabilizer by standing on that leg. You're going to find a way to make your surface become imbalanced. Uh, in my mind, I'm going to use something like a sand bell. I'm still here talking to you as I walk off the camera. I'm going to use like a sand bell. The sand bell is made from sand. And this little piece is going to make my ankles have to work a bit more. So I stand on the sand bell. I'm automatically feeling this myself not as stable. And I'm gonna lean forward, bringing the chest over towards that ground and back up again, okay? From the side angle, same concept. I'm gonna lean forward and back up to the top. Every time you find that body having to work for that balance, that's how you know you're in good standing because you need to work for the balance. Remember, every time you stabilize, you're strengthening the entire lower complexity of the body, from your hips to your knees to your ankles. When your ankles are not strong, your knees get weak. When your knees are not strong, your, ankle, your, your, your hips get weak. When the hips are not strong, your lower back is weak, and it goes all the way up. So everything translates into synergistic movements. It's all working together. It's like a community. And... If you are just working one side of the body, one plane of motion, then everything else is being imbalanced. So when you're training your body, remember, take the time out to implement these little drills. Take the time 
Sure, lifting weights is great. It, it looks heroic in the gym. Running on a treadmill, being on the elliptical, going on a spin bike, you know, sitting down and doing a cheer workout and punching and blasting the music. All of that stuff looks great. However, you have little muscles in your body that you don't see in the mirror, and you have to dedicate time to strengthen those muscles up. Okay, so that's me for the end of the day. I hope that you find these videos helpful. If you did, click the like button, leave the comments, let me know what you want to learn about next because like I said, I'm here to educate you. This channel is, is all about education. I'm sharing the knowledge that I have so you can understand that this guy is more than just a trainer because I am. I'm way more than a trainer if you research me, but I'm really here to help you so you can get better. Don't forget, head on over to donovangreenfitness.com. We're running a special right now where your monthly subscription of $4.99, which is basically a cup of coffee, will help me to keep on going and keep on creating this content. You will also access top workout videos on the website that you would not find here on YouTube. All right, so head on over to donovangreenfitness.com and support your coach. I'll see you later. Don't forget your body's just a body until you make it a temple. Later.